Can you make a game but can only code through copy and paste? I'm gonna try it. But first, we have to set some ground rules. Rule number one, I can create and destroy as many variables and functions as I want. Rule number two, I have to copy every other functionality. Is that why rulers are called rulers? Because they're used to state rules? Huh. And with that out of the way, it's time to plagiarize. I I'm copy code. I wanted this game to be easy to make for obvious reasons. So I decided to make an endless climber game. It's been done a hundred times, especially as mobile games, but we'll see how we'll change it into a PC game as the game progresses. Okay, first things first, we need a game plan. So I wrote down everything I wanted to get done in this game. Then I blocked out what the game would probably look like. But then I was confronted with my first issue. I want to make the player climb up walls forever, but I can't have infinite walls because no computer has infinite memory. The solution is actually simple. Instead of actually making the character rise up to infinity, make the walls move down lower and loop them. How do I do this? I move the wall down, detect if it's under a certain threshold, and if it is, as simple as that. Okay, play. What? Come on. Wait, I wonder. So after that revelation, I flipped the whole thing around and adjusted the code and voila! The next day I tried to make it look good, trying one lighting style after another. If I'm making a game, it needs to look like a complete one, right? Wrong. I was nowhere close to finishing this game, so I needed to focus on prototyping and gameplay. If you watch my first video, you'll see that I have a problem. I am a master procrastinator. And there's a specific form of procrastination I really struggle with. Working on parts of the project that don't matter makes you feel like you're making progress, but the truth is you're still where you started. And to stop this procrastination, I I made a new plan for this version of the game. And just to make sure that if I want to quickly adjust the background in the future, I made the background sprite white. Now I have an RGB background. The new plan is to make a jetpack joyride like game, where instead of riding a jetpack, you jump and dash to kill enemies. And if you hit an enemy without dashing, game over. So immediately I got back to copying and made this. Wait, what? Ah. Uh. Since I was controlling the dash based on the camera position, the dash was always towards the center of the screen. And there was a simple inbuilt solution for this in Unity. But since it was uncommon, getting the code to copy was a hassle. I was considering the entire challenge like, I'm copying every action to a level that no one else will ever do. But then I remembered what I'm doing this for. So like, share, and subscribe so that more people get to see this video. Now that it works, I made the play return to its original position after a dash. I made the play return to its original position after a dash. I made the play return to its original position after a dash. And the player movement is complete. Now to add the enemy. I added a red circle as an enemy and did some coding. And now the player can finally die. And in the game Jet Backdoor Ride, when you die, you slide across the map because of momentum. And this was my version of that. How I achieved it was by adding a force to the player when they die. It may seem counterintuitive. The player doesn't move at all until they die. But this is what game dev is all about. Creative solutions to even the dumbest problems. Then I just added a simple spawning script and... You know what? Challenge over. I made this video to prove a point. A lot of people I know kept saying that they won't start game dev because it's too hard. Because they can't code. In today's world, game dev isn't all about coding. Like, you got game engines like Core and Game Maker 2. It's about creating a fun experience and finding creative solutions for problems you encounter across the way. So if you decide on making games or any other creative work, just remember. It's about the quality of the experience, not the complexity of the code. I have uploaded the current version of the game onto github you can download it and turn it into whatever you want the tom links in the description below and see you next video